What is up everyone, this is Mo Tutorials here, and today I'm going to show you how to fix the Windows error code 0xc00005, or application was unable to start correctly. So this is usually happening because if you're, usually because of your Windows or your third-party antivirus software, kind of like forcing this software to close and not open up. So I'm going to quickly show you how to essentially fix this up. So what you want to do is you want to go to the search bar, and you want to write sysdem, dm, sys.dm, dot cpl. And we're going to open up this control panel item over here. In here, we're just going to click into advanced and we're going to click into settings for performance. In here, we're going to click into data execution prevention, which is essentially what's causing the problem, and do turn on DEP for all programs and services except those that I select. And you want to kind of actually add it on over here. So it's essentially basically done and you're kind of good to go. Once you do, once you basically press add, It'll, like you can choose where the system is. You can like kind of look into wherever the program is, the folder. You can open up as a folder as well to kind of find it and essentially have it added. And basically, you'll be good to go. <laughs> so you'll be basically good. You won't be able to like those virus error that won't be able to open up. And you'll be able to open up those what's they called um, I don't know programs or whatever you're trying to do. And you should be kind of good to go from there. Uh, so yeah, that's basically it. Once you add it in, press apply, press OK, and then you should be good to go. And yeah, that's basically it. Uh, do restart your computer just to make sure every, the changes do go into effect. I think it will tell you to actually restart. So yeah, definitely be sure to do that and then take it from there. Uh, if you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button. Helps if you guys overall uh, in, are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, let them know in the comment section below. Other than that, more tutorials out.